Greetings, friend. How are you doing today? I have a question for you. My questions for the day. What is one very um one very dangerous uh, thing to do in terms of relationship and being able to be proactive emotionally and with our mind? Um, one of the things that is very dangerous, very dangerous to do. That start with the letter A. And then you might be some multiple other answer for that. But one of the answer for me um, is actually to assume. Thank you for joining me, friend. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, one of the answer for me is um, the, the uh, one thing that's very dangerous, often dangerous to our relationship is to assume. And it's also um, can be uh, something that is not empowering for us to do, even when it is not in term of relationship, but just working with um, on our day to day life and uh, and everything. And every time we interact with somebody, uh, whether it is at our workplace or in a, outside personal relationship. Hi, friend. How are you doing today? Um, it's it's a relationship. It is a relationship. And so when we assume. Uh, there is actually a very funny, um, a very funny movie, uh, a very funny clips on YouTube, and some of you might have seen that. And and I uh, and it's it's concluded in a very wonderful way. Uh, this this very funny um, clips of movie on YouTube. Uh, it's a it um and it's basically when we assume something, when we assume somebody's um let's say somebody say something, and we uh we uh we just make a conclusion and this that's the other way uh, the other name of assuming is making a conclusions um something that we were not comfortable about and we just um we we, just, we draw a conclusions on something where uh then what happened is what happened is if you instead of asking to clarify you just believe in your mind so for uh so to say oh this person must be asking this this is what happens when you assume. When we assume, we make an ASS, and I'm, I'm borrowing this from that movie clip, an ASS of you and me. Or you making a, an ASS, an ass of the person, the other person, and you. And so that's never great for relationship. Let's say, you know, somebody, this happened to me in the past before, actually. I was working at a place and um the the um the person who was saying in, in fighting people around and to to her house party i believe um this is inviting people around to the house party and she didn't uh invite me personally and i thought well that's kind of weird um because we're all working in the same place and I let it go, and and I didn't really think about it very much afterwards. And thankfully, thankfully, this person actually um, later on communicated with me, and she says, "Well, you know, um, I, I you, you know, I, I didn't invite you to this thing, um, and I assume, I assume." <laughs> You wouldn't want to come because there are things going on in your life and it is this party is the nature of this party is this way and that way and thankfully thankfully of course this this person was skillful enough this my colleague was skillful enough when she thought about it she know not to just assume things she said well you know what but then when i thought about it maybe i shouldn't just assume and and thankfully at the same time i didn't just assume that um she did not want to invite me because she doesn't like me uh she actually was trying to be kind and she said well i don't want to kind of just you know um put you on the spot there but i also don't want to invite you and make you feel bad and so i just want to um to to uh i assume you don't want to come but let me just clarify with you and i i actually it did it actually didn't bother me even did it uh, i i noticed it at the moment and it's a little strange but thankfully i also wasn't assuming 
that this person wasn't inviting me because he didn't like me or something like that when it's actually a good intention. He was trying to shelter me, so to say, knowing that there are certain things going on in my life at the time to help, um, to kind of like being uh, to shelter me and not putting me on the spot and not having to have me say uh, give give uh, um, uh, a no answer and so on and so forth. So, but it that's that's an example where we actually communicate, where we actually ask instead of assume. Now imagine, imagine if the opposite were to completely happen. If she actually just assume that I would not want to come and she might or might not be correct and because I actually didn't mind going to that party I, I didn't I didn't mind at all um, and she just assumed that and then I assume I assume that she didn't invite me because I actually don't mind going to that to that particular party then I assume that she just didn't like me because she didn't invite me imagine what happened Imagine what happened. Then it would have been a conflict. Then it would have been a hard feeling of me. It's like, ew, you know, that is um, that persons don't like me and all these things. And so instead of assume, instead of assume, one of the tools that we have to be able to be more proactive emotionally and with our mind is to actually just ask. <laughs> To just ask if there is something that um, caught your attention and you like, well, that's a little strange. I wonder why this person doing this. Um, then to ask, to just ask when it is a relationship, to just ask and, and also to appreciate the, whatever answers that they are giving. A lot of time the answer is much better than what we thought or we assume in our mind because the human mind, strangely enough, as a part of our survival skill, are actually designed such that we imagine the worst. And this is wonderful and this is perfectly beautiful when we used to live in the caves, you know. Um, when we, uh, we were living in the, in the caves and if there is a noise, well, Better be careful of the large animal that might come and eat you. <laughs> but nowadays in this society, in this day and age, we're no longer live, living in the cave, in, in the cave, but our uh, the part of our brain, our amygdala is still tuned in to imagine the worst for our survival skill. Well, in the uh, in a lot of time, um, it is something that is that's not even the case. Um, and so if we have to assume assume the best if we cannot ask a questions or until proven otherwise if, um, if we cannot ask and appreciate them for um, answering us and a lot of time actually appreciate them because usually it's something even uh, it's better than we imagine to appreciate them to actually assume the best let's say you are doing business this happened to me more than once in my work as veterinarian oncologist the one time that struck me the most was this was back then long time ago and I was uh, I was a general practitioner was doing emergency medicine and this person came in with a cat with a broken leg and the cat was so matted and smelly and completely not, not well taken care looking cat and um I, I and then the assistants went in the uh, in the room look at the cat look at the person and the person didn't know much about the cat um didn't know much about the cat at all like answering some really basic question and so the assistant's like and and the person who brought the cat um i, I um he this the person who didn't he didn't look like very well dressed he, he basically like has holes in on his clothing and yeah, uh, and then they they um they he he drove a very modest car. This is in Los Angeles, and then um and my, the assistant was like, "Oh my God, I don't think me, you're probably wasting your time. I don't think this guy's gonna do anything at all." I mean, that's literally what the assistant says. Oh my God, the cat and the guy. I will be surprised if he's uh, he's even have money to uh, you know for for doing anything. Never mind doing the surgery that we would recommend based on what how it looks. So thank you for joining me, Fred. And and so I I was I even then uh, as a doctor, I think it's part of my training being a doctor. I I practice to not just assume people, 
um, but, uh, and I just went in and I start talking to him and the assistants, because he, uh, she has certain assumptions, it's basically, uh, um, later on, we find, uh, we find out that might have been a little bit dismissive or something, um, or, or appalled by this person, but I just come in and walk in and I, I just talk and, and, and be uh, as kind as I possibly can, look, given the situation and everything else. And well, and and I find out later that it actually a cat that he rescued. The cat's been outside and been around, and he saw the cat for a little a few days, and um and he may, finally managed to to get the cat. Um, it's a cat in the neighborhood, and he knows the cat's around the neighborhood. Um, but it wasn't his cat, and so it's a cat that he basically rescued. And so the cat was injured, and so it couldn't cap take took care of, of itself. And he, this person who appear very modest, and he is very modest. He actually has to um, to borrow money. They're using certain type of credit system for, um, to to borrow money, basically to help this cat. This person did everything, every single thing that we recommend for the cat that. It wasn't even his cat. It's a neighborhood cat. He's willing to commit to take care of this cat uh, for after for the aftercare because it's a broken leg that needed an aftercare. He went and bought um, he set up a room in his house and every imaginable thing. And so very caring. He come and visit his cat twice a day and and just notice this scraggly <laughs> neighborhood cat that he seen from time to time back to health and become and the cat decide to stay with him afterward but um and so we never know so we never know people when we're interacting with somebody even given the situations that everything that we just don't know um even if at the beginning things doesn't look quite right we uh, if we assume we want to assume the best why because everything is energy everything is energy and our um uh, how we do things how we do things uh, the way we speak the way we approach with somebody is influenced very strongly by our feeling and what's in our mind so in the uh, in the, the realm of assuming if we are assuming the worst um such as well, assume that this person's not going to have the money in one way or the other to help this cat, or this person didn't like me, such as with my colleague, or something else is, it will actually, even uh, it will subconsciously influence how we approach somebody, how we approach a situation. If, let's say, you are having a challenge in your life, and you assume the worst outcome possible, which it's very easy to do, it's very easy to do, but if you have a challenge in your life and the same thing, you assume the worst outcome possible, your mind will only allow you to see the worst outcome when you are doing things, when you are doing things with others, when you are interacting with others, when you are given an opportunities. We might not even be able to see it. This, uh, the, just like with my assistant back then, who look at this guy? Look at this guy. Look at the cat. Look at him, and talk to him a few, a couple sentences, and assume the worst. If we continue, had we continue approaching him in that manner, it might have pushed him back, and he might not actually even do the treatment for the cat or go to a different place where he felt accepted. And so, and the same thing when we are dealing with life. If we are having a, a, a mindset already, we assume that these situations here going to be sucks if we assume COVID-19 going to be a distraction of our um, economy or of your health or, or whatever it is. If you assume that this person's behavior is going to be doing something, then our energy actually, what we put our attentions, um, the universe read it as our intentions, and what we put our attentions a lot of time sooner than later become our reality. And if you assume, if you assume something going to be difficult, then a lot of time it's something, uh, a lot of time it, it we might actually cl cloud it our mind and we don't see 
things that could be easier. And so instead of assume, if it is an interaction with somebody that we could do, perhaps we want to ask and appreciate. If it is something else um, in life, or perhaps it's a situation, how about if we just assume the best and naturally we are more likely to draw in the best until proven otherwise. Why not? It doesn't hurt. It takes the same amount of energy um, to assume the worst and to assume the best. And so let's assume the best. It's feel better anyway when we are assuming the best um, than when we are assuming the worst, right? And so why not feel better? And if it's going to a ho to be a horrible outcome at the end, or what we perceive as a horrible uh, an outcome we don't really want, well, at least in that part where we are um, on the journey until we reach that outcome, we feel good assuming the best and trying the best we can rather than feeling crummy and yeah, and, and, and all these things and then having the same outcome anyway. So why not having the have, having a fun rights in the mean, in the meantime, right? And so so if we um that's my piece of mind tip for you this week. Instead of assuming, instead of assuming, ask and appreciate if we can. And if we do have to assume, let's assume the best. And that way, we are we increase our chance of success in everything that we do, whether it is an interactions with other as well as it is an in, um, a result of things that we are doing. And it will also this is one of the things that allow us to have, be more proactive. More proactive as we are approaching other, we assume if we have to assume, then we assume the best. We proactively decide that we are going to assume the best. Um, regardless of how things appear and when we are proactive just like when we are proactive in our doings of things that we would love of a task we have of an endeavor when we are proactive emotionally and mentally it's also allowing us much higher chance of being successful in what it is that we would love, which is in being able to have peace of mind, to have ease, to have more joy in our life. And actually, when we are able to do that, when we can stay grounded, when we can stay focused, when we can stay calm, and we can stay in a good vibrations and in a good energy and a good state, then we will be much more likely, then we will be much more likely to also be successful in our doing on um, whatever it is that we are doing in our endeavor in the physical material world, not just so, you know, so it's not just we are practicing this so we can be floating on the, in the cloud or, or feeling like a, a saint or something like that. Nothing wrong if that's what you endeavor to do. But also, but also for me, it's all about being able to have a wonderful physical results as well. And when we are able to be proactive, not just in our doings, but also in our emotions and our mental, then we kind of synchronize everything together. And when things are synchronized, it falls a lot, flows a lot better. And we will see the result uh, in the physical world that we would love even a lot, um, a lot easier, a lot better, and a lot, uh, a lot faster. And so this is Bridget with From Griefing to Joyful Living. Please share in the comment below if there was a time where you are assuming something and then you discover that your assumptions wasn't correct. And, you've, uh, and please also share in the comment below if there was a time um, if, and, uh, that you perhaps was assuming something and then you ask and then uh, it's improved your relationship with somebody. If you like to, if you like to, please share your feedback in the comment below as well if you'd like to. And this is Bridget with From Griefing to Joyful Living. I thank you very, very much for joining me today. I love you very, very much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, your evening, your, um, your weekend. And I look forward to see you again very, very soon.